All right, uh, quickly, we take another subject matter here. Um, among 25 songs on former President Obama's favorite playlist of 2022 uh, were Last Last by Bonner Boy, Calm Down by Rema, and Rush by Ira Star. In, in, you know, Obama said his end of year music playlist gives him the opportunity to learn more about new artists and how music can bring people together. So that's one message. Yes, every year, um, Obama's um, playlist, music playlist is com compiled. And um, in the last few years, Bonner Boy has always featured uh, on his playlist. And it, it, because those are the songs that, in the course of the year, he, okay, uh, okay. He was listening to keep the people. He okay, shows yeah. you the kind of music that the former American president um, loves, and he shows you that African music, especially Afrobeat, mm. you know, which originated from Nigeria, is doing very well, very, very well at this time. Uh, I won't be surprised, for example, if Bonaboy wins another Grammy because last, last. His song is making waves across the world. Bonner Boy sold out the Madison Square Garden, one of the most famous arenas across the world. He sold that arena out, mm. and they were singing from that song. The, 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 they were singing that song. I also saw him in Gauteng in South Africa. And the South Africans, about 100,000 of them in the, in the arena, were singing. And they go and show you, you know. And I'm like, <laughs> do they even know what what <laughs> he's talking you about? Know, because this is this is broken English that this guy is, is uh, singing with, and he's talking about Shayo and Igbo. But they were singing it. It's hmm. a song from his uh, latest album, Love Damini, and he's doing very well. Bonner boy is doing well. You know, he became the first African artist to hit 200 uh, million streams on Boomplay. Mm. The same thing, uh, he overtook Drake as the most streamed artist of 2022 across all the three major streaming services in our country. So, Rush by Erastar. Erastar yep. is the little girl uh, on Marvin's label. Rush came out a few months uh, ago. In fact, it was Rush that stopped the ascendancy of uh, Ashake because she told okay. about okay. Ashake and Rush has done 30 million views on YouTube already after just a few months mm. of release, you know. So it shows that our artists are doing very well. Look mm. at Rema, who sang the song Calm Down, you know. Rema, after that collab collabo with uh, Selena Gomez, Rema has become a much bigger artist. Yeah. Because Selena is very, very big on social media, especially Instagram. So working with Rema has made, uh, uh, Selena working with Rema has made Rema a much bigger artist. Wherever he goes, the, the arenas are sold out and you hear them singing um, to his song, uh, Calm Down. So yeah. I'm so happy about the progress that our artists are making and um, I think this guy remains the, their limits. All right. Let me tell you the reason for that. Yeah. It has to do with Fela Nicola Pokuti. You know, Fela Nicola Pokuti created Afrobeat and his own kind of Afrobeat is activism laced with a lot of jazz inspired music. What the new generation of artists especially Bonaboy, yeah. has done, is to modernize the Afrobeat in a way that it will appeal to younger people. You understand? It's the, it took the rhythm of the Afrobeat, it took the style of Afrobeat, but now break it down. It's not a long, widening, um, percussion lady, okay. call and response of fella, but now it is now in smaller beats. You can hear, listen to it and enjoy it. And the reason is very obvious. Bonaboy's mother used to be a backup artist to Fela Nicola Pokuti. Yeah. And 
Bonner Boy, Bonner Boy grew up. Uh, and Bonner Boy's grandfather father, was yes. the first manager, manager of Fela. Of Fela. Yeah. So, so he, he, grew up, he grew up within, within that environment mm. and it influenced him. And why it is very successful is just that or, a, imitation cannot be the same like original. That's it. When you play hip hop music, when you play foreign, foreign influenced music, you understand? An average foreigner, American, British, whatever, will not respect that song as much as a song that will intrigue them that, is, that they don't understand, mm. that they cannot play like you. So they will appreciate it more. And the luck that we have now is because our artists have realized that the future is Afrobeat and not trying to meet, imitate the American That's artists. It. You understand? They've become very successful. A lot of them. Biscuit, mm. all of them. Mm. Because the Afrobeat that they play now, the rhythm that they dish out now, is authentic to African music. Yeah. Uh, and Yide, this should kindle a new thinking in Afri amongst Nigerian music lovers. Um, the love, the seeming love for foreign music should begin to go. No, 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 I can even say it's gone. Uh, it's gone, yeah. There is no party that you go to now, there is no Nigerian music that they are playing predominantly. Predominantly. In the yes. last three years, I've not seen a party where they were playing foreign, foreign music. music. Is the Nigerian music is the in thing now, wherever you go. Somebody was telling me that it was in Congo and they were playing um, this boy, Kiss Daniel's music. Kiss yeah. Daniel's music is like the global anthem now. Yeah. Buga is like the global anthem. Yeah. Look at that Nigerian girl that won uh, the 100 meters uh, hurdles. Okay. Yeah. The girl from uh, Ogun State. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. As she was finishing that race, she white people it. were they were say, saying, oh, lo, lo, lo. They wanted <laughs> her to sing that song. That That's means it. that song already to the white people it represents Nigeria. That's it. That's, That's one. It. That song reminds them of Nigeria. That song to them typifies Nigeria. So as she stood in front of them, they, they were now saying, they, they, they wanted to shake her hand. They were saying, oh, no, no, no. So she just got the mental picture that they were referring to. Uh, 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 did, did so Buddha she had thing. to then mm. do the Bunga mm. for them. So it's, uh, it's happy times for our artists. If a single artist, Bonner Boy, can have three billion streams, mm. just an artist, you can yeah. tell you how big these guys are getting. Not to know that the no. money that they make. Yes, mm. the it's, money just, that it's just they not make. the figure. The money the is money that, And it's not only that, it's all over the world. Let me share one experience for you. I was in Atlanta and I went to a club, a white club. And because we reserve a table, the, our friends that we went to the club, we reserve a table. So when they, were, when they were attending to us, the DJ got to hear that, oh, some Nigerians are uh, amongst, uh, amongst us. So they started playing Nigerian music. It started with um, Davido, then he played Whiskey, then he played Bonaboy, then he played K1. Mm. He oh, played really? K1, yes. yes, K1. A white DJ, a white DJ played K1's music. Going for Fuji music. In Atlanta. Wow. Not in Lagos, mm. in Atlanta. Mm. It, again, it tells me, Mayor, it is possible. Of course it, it is. is possible. If we don't, because we have talents in already. this country. Yeah. We have talents in this country. If we announce those talents and we know who we are, we can compete with anybody anywhere in the world. Yes. All right. So, so good news coming from the Bonaboy environment and, of course, uh, the other gentleman and lady. I'm happy about that. 